Man, that stuff is thick like a hair on a dog's back. That right there ain't even irrigated. Good gracious alive, man. This thing, since I have been living here, ain't never been this dark green. Good gracious. Look at that right there. Get rid of that bad boy. Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day. And I am absolutely tickled silly with my yard. It, it looks good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I'm humbly saying that. I don't want you to think I'm bragging on it or nothing, but I mean, it looks good. I ain't gonna lie. Now I've been here in this house for eight years and honestly, all jokes aside, we're August the 8th, August the 9th. That's when I'm filming this right here. This is a GCI turf type tall fescue. It's got a little bit of Kentucky bluegrass mixed in it. And I, I mean, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I cut it today. And I mean, I, I, I mean, look. So look, I don't want you to think I'm saying, ooh, look what I got, none of that. I just, I've been so busy. Life has just been going, man, I mean busy. I've been kind of mowing and doing this and that and other. And I ain't really took time to look at the yard. And I slowed down a little bit today. We're getting ready to go out of town for my son's surgery. And I mowed the grass and looked at it. I'm pretty proud of that. That looks pretty dang good. So please forgive me if in any way that seems to be boastful or anything. I'm not trying to do that. I just, it kind of took me by surprise, just to be completely honest with you. Now I know that don't look good. I get it. I understand it. I'm a patient guy. I can wait until fall, uh, which is right around the corner. What happened here was I had some poor trivialis come up in the spring I had to spray it while it was there because when it gets hot that stuff goes away and I can't spray it and it'll come back next year so I had to spray it early in the spring I attempted a seeding right dead in the middle of the heat of the summer and it come up fine it was coming in great and I had to go on vacation so I had to quit I couldn't be here to hand water these areas heat killed it dead as a hammer that's okay, no big deal. I'll fix it in two or three weeks. Back here's the test plot. She's rocking and rolling. This is non-irrigated, whereas my house is irrigated, or the grass around my house is irrigated. I do set up my big sprinkler back here and water though. I've watered this six, eight, nine-ish times in the past couple months, just enough to keep it hanging on. Now this over here was a little project I took on where I wanted to love my neighbor and I wanted to provide her a really nice looking yard. So I've been maintaining this turf right here for about a year-ish and a half or so, somewhere in there. Uh, you can see it's got a little bit of heat stress, non-irrigated, all 30,000 square foot of it, non-irrigated, uh, looking pretty good. For those of you that watch all the time, you know, I cut the neighbor's yard for her while she was out of town. But she's back in town, so when you see the flyover, the front yard's not cut because she wanted to start cutting it again. Now what I did, I went in my Facebook group. Well, I put a post on there just now asking for some pictures of yards all over the country, both warm season and cool season. Now I haven't even looked at it. I hope I got some good ones to work with. But I'm going to throw some pictures up and I want you to see all these different types of grass that are striped up. So hey, what turf type stripes the best? You know, I ain't never thought about that. You, you look at pictures online and you see Bermuda grass striped up nice. You see ryegrass, Kentucky blue, tall fescue. Man, no way I want you to think that your yard has to be striped for it to look good. I'm not that guy that's going to say, hey, if your yard don't have stripes in it, your yard looks bad. I'm not that dude. 
If you don't like stripes, you don't like them. That's completely fine. It's your yard. You take care of it the way you want to. Now, for those of you that are into the striped look, you know that the striped appearance it goes off your turf type a lot. You know, not all turf types stripe the same, okay? Turf type tall fescue stripes incredibly hard. Ryegrass stripes hard. Kentucky bluegrass stripes hard. Most all of your cool season turf grasses are going to stripe excep exceptionally well. Now, warm season, I ain't throwing you under the bus. Because I've seen some striped up warm season turf that will blow you away. So what causes this effect is when you're mowing, you tilt the turf one way. And then you go down to the end of your run, you turn around and come up beside it and you tilt the turf back this way. That's where that big league striping roller comes into play. Now my right mower stripes like a champion on its own. But when I do these striping videos and I really want that color to pop and I want to make them extra light and extra dark, I'll put that striping roller on there and there you go. So I got a great relationship with those guys and they give me a coupon code to give you. So if you want one, it's in the description. Now here we are, it's about 7.30 in the afternoon or so. And you can see how the yard's got a real deep, dark appearance. But at the end of the video, we're going to do a cool flyover and get some different angles when the sunshine is involved. It's going to look like a totally and completely different color. It's not going to look quite as dark green because those sun rays are bouncing back off. The rays of light are bouncing back off this turf. It's going to give it a little bit different color. But it's going to make these stripes pop like crazy so i don't know what do you think which which one of these turf types do you think stripes the best comment let me know what your favorite striping grass is so hey like subscribe and share tell all your buddies check out this flyover we're going here and eat some supper with my wife and kids i'll check you later <laughs>